whole purpose of SpaceX is really to help make life multiplanetary. Um, and then, but the revenue potential of launching rock, launching satellites, servicing the space station, and whatnot, that's you know t taps out around three billion dollars a year. Um, but I think uh, providing broadband is is more like an order of magnitude more than that, probably thirty billion a year, mm -hmm. um, as, as a rough approximation. Um, and we're still like probably below five percent at that point. So it's not like. I want to be clear, like, it's not like Starlink is some huge threat to telcos. I want to be super clear, it is not. <laughs> uh, in fact, it will be helpful to telcos because uh, Starlink will, will, will um, serve the hardest to serve customers that uh, telcos otherwise have trouble doing with, with landlines or even with, with uh, cell radio stations, you know, with cell, cell towers. Um, 5G is, is, is great for high density situations like being here in DC or you know New York, San Francisco, that kind of thing. 5G is great for high density situations, but it's actually not great for um, the, the countryside. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for rural areas, it's it's not it's not great. You need you need range, um, and so in any any kind of sparse environment, uh, 5G is, is really not not well suited. Um, but it's Great, great for in, for for city dense, dense city situations. So Starlink will effectively serve the I don't know th three or four percent hardest to reach customers for telcos or, or people who simply have no connectivity right now, um, or the connectivity is really bad. So I think it, it will be actually helpful um, and take a, a significant load off the traditional telcos. Okay, and I was I was going to ask you what. what um, well, it will be a, it should be a good experience because it'll be very low latency, mm -hmm. um, and we're targeting latency below 20 milliseconds. Uh, so somebody could 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 play a, a fast response video game uh, at a competitive level. Right. Like that's the threshold for uh, the latency. Um, so, uh, so then, and, and bandwidth. The bandwidth is a very complex question. Um, but let's just say somebody will be able to watch high def movies, mm -hmm. um, play play video games, and do all the things they want to do without noticing speed. Right. Um, and then the, the the challenge for anything that is uh, space based is that the the size of the cell is gigantic. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's it's like I said, it's great for for uh, very low to maybe maybe mediums. Uh, Sort of sparsity situations, but it's not uh, it's not good for high density situations. So we'll we'll have some small number of customers in LA, but we we can't do a lot of customers in LA because the bandwidth per cell is is simply not uh, high enough. Um, so the, the the ground equipment just looks like uh, well, I think it's, like I said, I think it looks like a little UFO, looks like a UFO on a stick. Mm -hmm. um, so the, at least the version one of the user terminal will actually have actuators on it so that it can. It, it can um, improve the pointing accuracy, so you don't have to. It's very important that you don't need a specialist uh, or so to install. Um, it, the, the goal is that this, that the instructions on the box will. They're just two instructions, and they can be done in either order: uh, point at sky, plug in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do it either order. Sequence doesn't matter, and it will work. Plug and play. Literally, <laughs> but also point at sky. <clears throat> the sa you can't see the satellites. If you, if you can't see the satellites, you can't see you. I, I am confident that we will not cause any impact whatsoever in astronomical discoveries. Okay. Zero. That's my prediction. So you're if, not launching them. We'll take corrective action if it's above zero. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a. Sometimes people get a little excited because when the when the satellites are first uh, launched, mm -hmm. that they're they're tumbling a little bit, so they're like they're kind of like they're going right. to blink, um, and because they, they haven't stabilized, um, and then and they're they're raising their orbit, so they're they're lower than you'd expect, and they're kind of necessarily going to reflect in ways that is not the case when they're on orbit. Uh, but now now that the satellites are on orbit. Uh, I'd be impressed if, if somebody could actually tell me where where all of them are. Mm. 
I've not met someone who can tell me where all of them are, not even one person. We're actually working with senior members of the, uh, the, 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 um, the science community and, and senior astronomers to minimize the potential for reflection mm -hmm. uh, of the satellites. So, um, you know, we're, and we're, we're running a bunch of experiments to, for example, um, uh, just ha have a, a paint the um, phase array antenna black instead of white. Um, and we're um, working on a, a sunshade because th there, there are like certain angles where if the sun gets, you know, just sort of just right um, and there's not like a little sunshade, we're not talking about a lot here, then you can get a reflection. Um, and so we're launching a sunshade, uh, changing the, 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 the color of the satellites um, and otherwise minimizing the, um, the potential for any, any impact. Uh, e even like a, 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 aesthetically, this, this should not be an impact, I think. What? Zero. Zero? Zero. Not thinking about it at all. We need to make the thing work. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's far from obvious that, I mean, it's real important to just set the stage here for LEO communications constellations. Guess how many uh, LEO constellations uh, didn't go bankrupt? Zero. Right. Zero. Mm -hmm. um, Iridium is doing okay now, but the Iridium One went bankrupt. Orbcom went bankrupt. Um, Global Star bankrupt. Teledesic bankrupt. Am I leaving anyone out? There's a bunch of others that didn't get very far. They also went bankrupt. Anyway, they all went bankrupt. <laughs> bankrupt. Right. I'm not going <laughs> to. This, this a big. That would be a big step. Other constellations? Well, you're launching other satellites. So oh, yeah, sure, whatever, yeah, no problem. <laughs> of course. Right. Like, uh, no problem. You want to launch a constellation on SpaceX? Sounds good to me. So? I mean, I, I think, that, you know, I think there's, there's, the world seems to have an insatiable appetite for bandwidth, so we're certainly happy to launch other satellites, and, um, you know, we don't think Starlink is like, going to destroy all other satellites or something like that, or definitely not. Um, all right. Yeah, we just want to be in the not bankrupt category. That's our goal. <laughs> um, no, we're really, there's just there's two major new technology programs at SpaceX. That's Starlink and Starship. Mm -hmm. Well, like, it kind of has Star in the name of it too much. If, I, I mean, we should just call it like Link and Ship. If you divide the one by the other, mm -hmm. the, the stars net out, and then it's just Link and Ship. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Um, as far as I know, anyway, it could be some secret project that's so secret, I even I don't know about it. That was the real reason I was late, is because I was at Boca Chica. My apologies. Uh, I was just uh, working on Starship uh, with the team there. So, it's pretty cool out there, actually. I like it. <laughs>